Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again, hope you all are doing well. So in this video tutorial, we are going to explore about SP model. So basically SP model widget API is used to show a lot confirm prompt dialogues in service portal. Not only that, we can use SP model widget API before the submission of catalog items. I mean to say if you want to ask some question if you want to show error message if you want to confirm before the submission of catalog item then you can use that sp model widget api in on submit catalog client script and if you want to render some different widget from the current open widget then also you can use sp model so let's go ahead and I will introduce one of the use case that I've already done. So let's go ahead. So I have this SP model catalog item use case. Okay. So friend, let's see when I will click this submit button, it's showing this dialog box that is do you agree. This is one of the helpful thing that we can use. Okay. And if I will say yes, it will submit the RITM. And if I will click this no button, see, it will say no, not agree with you. Okay. It has not submitted. Let's click this submit button again. And this time I will click this yes button. So you could see, thank you, have a nice day. And if I will click this okay. No, it has submitted the RITM and SC request. So friends, let's see how have I designed this script to show all this dialog box. For that, I have created a on submit catalog client script in this SP model catalog item use case catalog item. So let me open that client script and so you could see here I have given the name like this and applies to catalog item and this is our SP model catalog item use case which is the catalog item and it is in submit and UI type you have to select the all all mobile service portal better to select all and Obviously, it will work only on portal. So here, the first line you could see this condition: G scratch pad dot is form valid. So I am using this condition to ensure that the valid input has been provided. So let's submit the form. That's it. And the second line, nine, uh, line number nine, there have two conditions. The first one I'm picking that is my widget using the SP model widget API or not. So for that, I'm picking type of SP model is not equal to undefined. And the second condition is that user has not provided any inputs okay so sp model dot open okay this is the widget api uh soon you log into your developer instance uh this one page so from here you can search by typing sp model and if you click search so from where you can refer and you can use for your own use cases so this open is the method of this sp model widget api object and this taking argument 
as an object and inside this we have this title message buttons properties the first title will show you uh, let me go to that catalog item again submit so you could see this title do you agree and this is the message and okay in these two buttons no and yes also been configured from here so the title we have we have message we have these two buttons yes or no you can change the label for you and the cancel to and there is a primary property to. means the cancel means I click the no button and primary true means I have click the yes button Uh, it might be for the, the color you could see showing different for the no and different for the so okay and once this prompt will be open okay and if the user clicks on either no or yes button so for the yes see after that also we are calling the function called then and here we are passing two back function the first one is for this button and second one is for no button so if i will click this button then it will show another message using this alert function and here we are just passing the string message thank you have a nice day and after that it will show one button right okay and if you click that again it will call this function inside now it is making this is form valid property to and again it is submitting the form again here you could see the founder submit action name and if you will have uh, some action and you might have uh, been calling from the UI actions that's why first it will face the action name and then it is submitting the form and here see here we are making the is form value to two then this condition will be passed now it will submit the form because this submit function will call this function again and if we will click no it will just show the message not agree with you and if you click ok then it will call this function and it will initialize this is from valid by this false value and that time nothing will happen because unless this value will not be true form will not be submitted and the another or uh, most important things to notice here is that see i am returning false here because see when i click that uh, submit button uh, this one to submit the catalog item it will call this open function and this is not the synchronous it is asynchronous then it will not wait dialog box to open means this script 
will not wait uh, this HP model dialog box to open. Directly go to this line. If I would have not written this line first, see what will happen. Uh, let me save this. May refresh and if I click submit, see before clicking any yes or no, any information it has submitted the catalog item. So that is not good, right? So this line is easiest.